Hey guys, it's Kai here. Okay, so I know my last video was really like, oh, I'm so depressed, my sex so hard. <laughs> okay, I'm alive. I'm fine. <laughs> There's just a lot of stress going on right now, okay? I can't transition, and it's like. And I didn't have my therapy this week because my letter was being written, which is awesome, but at the same time, it's like, I need to talk to my therapist, guys. I can't take it. I'm fine. It's, it's just drama. It's just because I'm super, super flamey. Work is fine. I've been wearing my binder at work. I wore it three days in a row. And there's problems. <laughs> but <laughs> I can do it and my chest is kind of good. And everyone's like, you look good. They still call me she. A customer called me he yesterday. Which was amazing. And then my manager was like, oh yeah, she's the best. And I was just like... I'm going to leave now. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. It was so awesome that the customer was like, he, and like, gender pronouns were right. And then my manager's like, she, and I was like, damn it, guys, focus, he. Anyway, some people still call me by female name. Then I correct them, and they're like, are you always going to keep correcting me? I'm like, until you get it right. Yes. Damn. But other than that, good things. I've been spending a lot less time with my family which I think is healthier and saner for all of us. Seriously, for all of us. The last time I spend with them, the more I'm able to recover and like deal with my stress. But every time I talk to them, I would just get depressed and then I wouldn't do my homework, which I need to do, and I wouldn't be able to like, blah. So I've been doing a lot of like alone time. Alone time is alone. And, and I'm an introvert, so that really works for me. I know I seem like an extrovert, but this is a camera. This is not a freaking person. I see people all day. When I get home, I don't need people. I'm good. I'm happy by myself. Happy like a little clam. So, been doing a lot of like alone time and like not socializing and just kind of like getting my shit under control. But I'm good. I just really hate this waiting game of like, where am I getting a job? Am I moving? And so I've been invited to live in the UK which is choice, but I need a visa, and according to the UK government, I don't really, mm, words, so, I've applied, and my manager is doing the dance, but I don't know where I'm going to end up, I may end up here, I may end up in Ohio, I may end up in the UK, things change too much, it stresses me out, so, <clears throat> It's rough. Now, if I reclaim my Spanish citizenship, which I was planning on doing next year, then I can tra work anywhere and live anywhere in Europe without problems. So, I may finish what I'm doing this year, which I plan to do, and get my T and get my top surgery, which is choice. And then next fall, I may move to Spain and live there for a year. And then I can move to England, which would be great. But it's just a matter of getting that Spanish citizenship so that being anywhere is going to be easy and fun. Hopefully after tea and after top surgery so that I can go there to Spain as a man and then move around as a man. You know, that would be really awesome and that would be a really cool life experience. And I'm kind of excited about that because I already wanted to live in Europe. I mean, I think that's crazy cool. And... So it's just a matter of making it happen. But, you know, maybe the time isn't now. Maybe the time is later, which is okay. But it just means that when the time is right, hopefully that, that opportunity to still live out there will still be out there. And so then it'll just be easy. Oh, Spain, England, finito. But I really appreciate that that offer was made for me and that people are willing to help me. I mean, that's super cool. Like, I didn't have that three months ago before I transitioned <clears throat> well before I started medically transitioning so I mean that's really cool I'm really excited and at the same time you know I'm okay works works okay it's I'm doing more hours because I need the money and that's stressful and I, I'm doing a lot of classes right now which is like <sighs> so there's just a lot of things and then family problems and but I'm okay I'm alive I'm doing okay. I'm trying to get enough sleep and trying to socialize when I want to socialize and just taking time for me. But I know last week I was just like super depressed. There's a lot of reasons for that, but some of them are clearing up and it's gonna be alright. I just gotta take
take a deep breath and focus on the now and then tomorrow will come when tomorrow comes but I really hope tomorrow comes tomorrow and not like six months from now <sighs> anyway but I just wanted to make an update let you guys know everything's good I'm not like dying I know my family situation is shit but you know not everyone's transition involving their family is okay sometimes it's bad and sometimes it's good and the people who have it good awesome that's great but <laughs> mine's not so good so I just gotta find ways of coping so I've I've talked to my mother and it's just been like listen I'm gonna do my thing I'm probably not gonna hang out with you guys very much which is fine and it's this one I'm so OCD sometimes <laughs> um, but it's a matter of me being comfortable and if that means staying the hell away from them that's what I'm gonna do and they're okay with that because if we're not fighting we're, we're all happier I'm just gonna pretend they're not there and just talk to you guys and do my thing and go to work and eat and sleep and homework and you know it'll be fine it's all good so this is Kai signing out fine and good not wearing a binder at the second because I'm tired of wearing one because I've been wearing it for three days <laughs> and I'm off tomorrow but I'm gonna wear it tomorrow and Saturday's gonna be a long day I don't know what's gonna happen am I wearing a binder on Saturday it's going to be the ultimate test because Saturdays are a nightmare where I work. A nightmare. So if Saturday's okay, <clears throat> then I'm just going to wear it whenever I'm outside or seeing people and just not wear it when I'm here and just be like, oh, my guys, I'm okay. But I have been using Chasey Poo's line of, does this shirt make my chest look flat? Like, <laughs> it's winning everything forever. I love Chase. Chase, if you're out there. I love you, and you owe me a Skype call, just so you know. <laughs> okay, guys, see you soon. Uh, don't forget, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days from now, is topic three on It's a Man's World FTM 1. I heard the story of why it has a 1 at the end. It is so stupid. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. I'm, I've sworn to secrecy, but it's a funny story. Anyway, It's a Man's now. Man's World F team. I don't even know the name. It's so long. But this topic is going to be friends and family and things as opposed to partners. You guys have heard. You guys know the story. But I talk about my past. It's very dramatic. And I filmed it like two weeks ago. Now, don't forget, two weeks from now, not this Sunday, next Sunday, my topic is going to be sex. And it's going to be hilarious and probably really long. Tune in if you want to know more about me. Or don't. I mean, whatever. It's going to be TMI the whole time. Catch you guys on Sunday. Peace out.